Okay, this is the cure for heart disease. This is a book called No More Heart Disease. NO stands for nitric oxide. It's the ingredient that makes Viagra work. It dilates the, the uh, blood vessels. And it was discovered by Louis Agnero, Dr. Louis Agnero. He won the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine. But he's not using Viagra. He's using natural substances to stop this heart, his approach to heart disease. It's called L-Arginine and L-Sotraline, which you can buy from any health food store. Um, you, can, you can read the amount in there as, as you like. Uh, a better approach to this is, in my opinion, is PaulingTherapy.com, which I'm going to approach right now here. Ah, oh, God. Uh, that's PaulingTherapy.com on the website. They changed somewhat the website. Uh, but basically, the former uh, website would say take three to six grams of vitamin C a day with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, lysine and with proline. These are two amino acids. You don't have to worry about proline because your body makes proline. Uh, uh, lysine, is, your body doesn't make. You have to get it from food. But, he's, but luckily for everybody, it's very cheap at Walmart and health food stores. Okay, just take an equal amount. So also, don't forget to start very s slow with vitamin C because you got to build up a bowel tolerance. Okay, you got to take 500 milligrams with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, up to a thousand, then three to six grams eventually. So one to two grams with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you should be probably with with the uh, average American breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You should be getting enough lysine, hopefully. If not, supplement. You know, go to the store and get it. Uh, equal equal amounts. Um, this is a very big website. Okay, this is uh, it's, it's, it's. I hope you can read all this. There's a picture of Linus Pauling. He won two Nobel prizes. It's based on the work of Linus Pauling, or 1991 or so, discovered that most, if not all, uh, heart disease can be uh, remediated through vitamin C. Vitamin C. He called uh, cr heart disease chronic scurvy. Scurvy, of course, is a minimum amount of vitamin C will prevent scurvy. Millions of uh, uh, semen used to die from scurvy. From lack of vitamin C, you need a little bit of vitamin C. Most animals make their own vitamin C, humans do not. Anyway, um, he calls heart disease chronic scurvy. And he, you're taking out his levels. Uh, there's a, also, there's a video, there might be a video on this website. There used to be a video of him talking about this. Um, I think this is one of the better ways of going much, very cheap. Vitamin C is extremely cheap. Also, don't forget vitamin C you can get in acidic and non-acidic form, ester C, non-acidic, and there's a, a different forms of vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and uh, a different forms. Just go to the health food store and they'll discuss this with you. Uh, so that's a, that's that's one approach that I, I highly recommend. Uh, this the a book that might. Actually, that probably talks about this in some. The only book I know about this is Thomas Levy's book, America's Number One. He's an MD. He's got his own website, ThomasLevyMD.com. Just put his name in there. Can you see it okay there? Uh, okay, he's the, lead, the world's leading expert on vitamin C. He wrote the book, Curing the Incurable. Excellent book. You cannot, I highly recommend this book. Uh, the average doctor does not know anything about nutrition, so they don't know anything about this approach. Of course, there's very little money in, involved in, in using vitamin C uh, and the other approaches that I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, okay. Okay, this is Dr. Stephen Sinatra. He has a different approach. He has a, a book called... You can get it at Amazon.com, but he's he's a nutritional nutritional nut cardiologist, and uh, you can try his approach. I think it's, he's a little more complicated than this, than need be. Uh, 
There's this book right there. Okay, that's at Amazon.com. The Sinatra Solution, Metabolic Cardiology. He started out as a regular cardiologist. He lost a valuable patient, he tried everything he knew in medical school. Then he just vowed to learn everything he could alternatively, anything to save his patients. Discovered that a lot of alternative medicine, nutritional medicine works. So he's written books with uh, other doctors on the, on, you know, so he's a, he's a leading exponent of nutritional medicine. And uh, now, but there's an even simpler solution to this, believe it or not. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. There's 304,000 hits on cayenne pepper. Uh, can you see that? Just put cayenne pepper in heart disease. So I have two anecdotes about cayenne pepper. Uh, one is that, um, and I think this is the, one of the easiest approaches to it, besides the vitamin C. Um, one man had a severe arteriosclerosis, went to the doctor, the doctor tried everything, nothing worked. He, he says, you'll, you'll be dead in six months, sorry, I can't do anything more for you. He went to a, a friend of his who knew, knew about holistic medicine, told him to take cayenne pepper and water, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and water, Twice a day, six months later, went back to the doctor. The arterial sclerosis is gone. The doctor said, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Another anecdote is this old man had a heart attack. His uh, daughter was on the ambulance with him. She gave, he gave her father some cayenne water, a pinch of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and water. And by the time they got to the emergency room, he felt so good. He says, I want to mow the lawn. You can find these anecdotes on these websites. Uh, so enough cayenne pepper is like here right here you can buy it right there that's a good brand right there and also Frank's hot sauce believe it or not that's cayenne pepper you can put this on ice cream it has a nice uh, hot cold yin-yang type of uh, approach to it um, and so that can reverse heart disease you can try all these all three of these things if you like I think vitamin C is, I would go with vitamin C top. Uh, that, that, that would be my first choice. This would, now red, the nice thing about cayenne pepper is that it stops bleeding also. Okay, you can look it up. Red, cayenne pepper bleeding. No! Please. Do you want your food? No! I got, I'll get it later. Oh, God. Um... Um, cayenne pepper uh, also stops bleeding so if you have a knife wound or a gunshot wound uh, you can you stop bleeding but if you take if the person is awake enough to take a, dr a drink of cayenne pepper a, t a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or more in water it'll stop the bleeding uh, Use, you can also use black pepper for a paper cuts, and that'll help. For, uh, stop, it's unbelievable. It stops it bleeding. You just put black pepper bleeding, cayenne pepper bleeding in your Google search, and that should help a lot. Uh, it's a miracle. It's, called, it's, called, it's been called cayenne pepper has been called the king of uh, supplements, the king of, of uh, uh, condiments, the king of herbs. So you can try that here and this thing or the Frank's hot sauce, which is cayenne pepper. Thank you.